we're back in the woods. Um, and uh, after well, six videos on the building of this crossbow, um, here we are, and we're going to find out if it actually works. It's been a long time in the making, well, about a month or so, maybe 20 hours, I'd say, that I've actually put in uh, into this. And uh, it doesn't look lovely, and I'm really excited. So uh, the history of the crossbow, well, uh, the Chinese invented it um, in the 6th century BC. And you've got to say, well, how did they come um, up with this invention? Well, you had um, a longbow. And that's really the longbow and this tiller would represent your arm and you'd pull this string back but you've got to hold that back and this is one of the pros of the crossbow because that is pulled back and it's cocked and that energy is then stored that you cannot do with a longbow you've got to pull it back and you can only hold it for a few seconds so as far as reaction times if someone's head suddenly pops up from somewhere you mostly can hit them a lot faster with one of these now it has a drawback uh, one of them being that uh, the cord if this cord gets wet you can't just take this off as you can with a longbow the longbow you can take it off put it under your hat uh, keep it dry but with this that's a disadvantage. But let's go back to the advantages. And so 4th century BC, the Greeks have got it by then. Um, and then the Romans, well, of course, they made massive ones on stands. They were called ballistas. Uh, absolutely awesome things. And then you don't see much of it in this country around the Saxon period until the Normans bring it back over here. And uh, they used it to great effect. It started off without a stirrup. Uh, and you just put your foot inside here and pulled it back. As they got stronger and stronger and they turned these these staves here um, from from you or other woods into sprung steel then you start to have cocking aids here which is you know to actually span this with a goat's foot lever and then um, the big windlass when they got up to sort of 400 pound uh, draw weight really powerful things this is going to be hopefully about 80 pound I think uh, and um, you know I'm really excited we are going to be firing at an improvised target as I'm sure you'll imagine it would be a bit boring if it was just something boring so let's see and so through history then uh, Richard Lionheart I mean, he it was this was one of his favorite uh, weapons and he absolutely loved them but you know he did come from he was brought up in the court of love uh, and he was just oh, it was so romantic and it's also storybook and the irony is he was actually killed by one of these on a, I think it was the second um, crusade he was coming back from there was some little skirmish and uh, he got hit by a cross bolt and um, he was laying on his deathbed they bought they captured the the man who actually shot him and he he pardoned him and gave him money i mean it's just yes uh, uh, you know well done good shot old chap um and then richard uh, died and then they recaptured the uh, the poor soldier and uh, took all his money and then flayed him alive so uh oh dear but today we are going to as i say be firing at uh, an english archer actually because you know this is the time that uh, it's sunny it's dry and we've got a very special target indeed there he is yay it's the fruit and veg man and uh, yeah and i thought what a better i mean i don't know fruit and veg i mean fruit i'd rather it juiced really um you know biting an apple it just hurts your head uh and vegetables i mean god everybody goes on about five a day and all this and and the fruit and you're at a dinner party and i'll have the black forest gato i'll have the death by chocolate oh i'll have the fresh fruit salad oh great you know it's gonna be on a greystone isn't it i had my five a day you know god come on just enjoy life and so um, I just have to, uh, a big thank you to my friend Nick, who uh, <laughs> applied the artwork uh, to this, uh, to give me a smug looking English archer who doesn't think he's in range. Um, if there's any vegetarians out there, I suggest you look away now.
Well, um, he's <laughs> it's done. Uh, he's he's finished. I mean, he's not going to be firing any more ammo, is he? Uh, it's been a great success. Uh, <laughs> oh, wonderful.